Hey guys, I'm Nikki with Resin Melody and I have an exciting package today. I did not expect this package to come for honestly probably a couple months. Um, so back in the fall, I think in September maybe, I had ordered the cutest Dragonling and Cthulhu from Maria at Clover Dolls and I was cautiously hopeful that maybe I would get them for Christmas, but realistically I knew I wouldn't. Um, but I ordered the Cthulhu actually for my husband for a Christmas present. And I mean, it's June 2nd, so it's a little bit late, <laughs> but they came amidst all this craziness happening in the world. Um, actually I had asked Maria to hold the dolls for me um, until things started getting worked out um, with all the flights and mail delivery and all of that. And she actually took it upon herself to mail them out to me on April 22nd. And as soon as they hit the export customs on May 12th, we got confirmation that they had cleared export customs in Russia. Um, she sent me an email telling me, Hey, surprise, I emailed or I sent your dolls to you. Um, and so we have kind of been stalking tracking and I got an email from her last night that they had arrived in New York and this morning at about 1140, here they are. Um, so I am super, super excited. I have not opened any part of them whatsoever. So this is truly, um, box opening from scratch. As you can see, there's actually an outer bag that they were sent in. Um, obviously it had my address and everything on it, so I ripped that label off. But I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right into this bag. And this way you can see exactly how she sends them. And I have two boxes. You can see they're taped together. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. Okay. So it says Nicole on it. I'm not sure if you can read that. It may come up backwards because I'm trying a new thing with trying my front facing camera today so I can make sure that everything stays in frame as I open them. Okay, let me see who is the first one. Oh my gosh, the packaging is fantastic. So if any of you saw a previous video on how not to send dolls, this is how you absolutely should send dolls. Um, <laughs> so each of these dolls was in a thick cardboard box that actually could be used as a shipper. I'm just going to chuck that off to the side and then it looks like there's an inside box. How cute is this? She created pull tabs for the tape. This is somebody who pays attention to packaging. Props to you, Maria. This is awesome. And here it is, Clover Dolls. That's so exciting. Okay, so there, oh, there is a magnetic clasp on the box. So that's cool. Oh my goodness, this must be the little Cthulhu. You can see she's got a little Cthulhu by Clover Dolls. And she has actually included a detail card, um, as you can see here, that includes all the details. I got the gray resin color and I actually had her blush it because I wanted to make sure that it was all set for my husband when he got it. And let's see, looks like there's a little note tucked in here. What is this? Oh, she included a little note and the little note says, Dear Nikki, please be aware of the risk of scratching the painted chest with the ice cream. Thank you for purchasing Maria. Oh my gosh, she actually sent him with this little tiny ice cream cone. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. I am so impressed. And he is so cute. Oh my goodness. Check him 
out. How adorable. The wings are jointed. So I am not going to pose with him too awful much because I need to make sure that my husband sees him pretty much as is right out of the box. So I am actually going to pack him right up. And when my husband wakes up, so he works nights. And when he wakes up tonight before he goes to work, I get to give him his extremely, extremely, extremely late Christmas present. I'm just going to go ahead and fold everything back up in here so that my husband gets the whole experience. Okay. So here is the little Cthulhu, and I'm really sorry that I'm not keeping him out because I think he's gonna look adorable next to the dragonling. And again, these tabs, how awesome is this? I'm gonna have to remember this when I send dolls out if I saw them secondhand or even sending them out for any work that I may choose not to do myself. That just makes so much sense. Okay. And this one is Do Not the Dragon. Look at how cute he is. And this is the same thing. I've got an info card telling me everything that, um, that he comes with and everything that I've ordered. So I ordered him in uh, white and I ordered him with the number one head cap. And he has strawberry ice cream. How adorable is that? So he's got a little strawberry ice cream cone. And I did order him basically blank. Um, because at the time of Christmas, you know, I, with everything going on, I just didn't have the extra cash to get mine blushed. So I will do that myself. But I think his mouth opens. It does. And she actually painted, um, the, she painted the inside of his mouth so that he wouldn't be completely blank. And she gave him rainbow eyes. How freaking cute is that? Oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, let me get these boxes out of the way. As you can see, his posing is amazing. Oh, she has suede every single one of his joints. Every single part, I don't know if you can see, but do you see right, right there where my finger was? That's actually where the bar goes through for the hook to grasp, that has been covered with white resin. What attention to detail. And everything poses beautifully. You can see it right here on the tail. That little dot right there, that's from covering up the bar. So the wings all move, his cute little back of his head cap. Oh, he's so cute. And there he is. Oh my gosh enjoying his strawberry ice cream. He is so cute. Seriously, check this out. All the jointing um, on the wings, that all is fantastic. The tail moves, the legs all move. The resin is great. It's got a nice texture to it. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to possibly blushing him. I may actually leave him as is because Seriously, how cute is he? That's so freaking cute. Um, anyway, so this is my little dragonly um, from Clover Dolls, and I will be posting photos up um, on my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, um, as well as my website with pictures of him and Cthulhu, so you can see them together. But like I said, since Cthulhu is actually technically my husband's. Um, it's it's his late 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 Christmas present. I don't want to take um I don't want to handle him too much for fear of scratching. Um yeah. So these 
this is my my little dragonling dude with his cute little ice cream um if you ever get a chance to order from maria i highly recommend it it was absolutely pleasant experience i was able to split the payments into two payments so i did 50 percent down and then 50 percent once the the scalps came in um and then she did the full blushing on the Cthulhu and she did just a little bit of minor blushing on the Dragonling and communication was awesome. Uh, honestly, I cannot recommend her more. She is so awesome to, to purchase from and to communicate with. And quite honestly, I wish her all the best um, in, in her future sales. And I can't wait to see what she comes up with next because these are super cute. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick little box opening. And if you're interested in seeing more box openings or different things that I get from my dolls, tips and tricks, tutorials on how to do things, um, please subscribe. Uh, I'd love to have you coming back. I'd love to have you watching my videos. And did you get a Dragonling? Did you get a Cthulhu? Leave your comment below. I'd love to check them out. Let me know where to find you so that I can follow you on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, I wanna see them because holy crap, they are super cute. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Bye.